Hello friends, welcome to, uh, back to my channel, Meena Shatobu. Today, we are going to discuss about simple machines. Simple machines. First of all, what is a machine? A machine is a simple instrument which makes our work easier. There are two types of machines. Simple machine and, and compound, uh, sorry, complex machines. Complex machines are such as our well-developed machines such as mobile phone, the TV, the refrigerator and etc. Now, today we are going to discuss about simple machines. Simple machines have very simple constructions and which make our work easier. Simple machines uh, do not do their work on their own or do not give us the input on their own. We have to apply some force for uh, doing this simple, for working with simple machines. So, what are the terms used in simple machines? They are load, effort, Fulcrum Input energy Output energy Load on Effort arm, and mechanical advantage, mechanical advantage, efficiency, Okay. These are the various terms that uh, we have to remember when we get our terms to simple machines. First of all, what are these first three main first these three we discuss? Now, when we see this load effort fulcrum, we will draw a lever. Lever is a kind of simple machine which consists of a fulcrum, an effort, and a load. Now, what the lever I have drawn is a, a, a first order lever. There are three types of lever which we are going to discuss further. So, now the force to be overcome by the machine is called load. And the force applied to overcome the force is known as effort. And the fixed point or part of a lever or a simple machine which makes a simple machine turn and do the work is called fulcrum. Okay, now let's discuss about load arm and effort arm. Okay, the point from fulcrum to the load is called as load arm. This is load arm. And the point from fulcrum to the effort is called effort arm. The how much near means how much less the load arm is that much less we have to apply the effort you think this is the load arm now and this is the effort arm while in this case of lever we have to apply a less force 
I'll show you the resemblance of less force something like this and there will be more force applied here more force will be applied here and how much far a load arm grows that much more effort you have to apply to lift this arm we will take two kinds of lever something like this placed like this you think this is efforts these are efforts and these are loads means load will be placed here can you get any simple question in your mind by seeing this diagram yeah this is nothing but our scissor means in our scissor we will have the effort uh, fulcrum in the middle i will show you the scissor please wait this is a scissor you say it correctly it consists of fulcrum in middle means this and the load will be placed here i'll show you an example of you think this is a piece of paper here how much more effort you apply that much less effort is applied here see so now how much near the load will be to the fulcrum that much hard it cuts you have seen here so by this we can prove that how much near the load arm uh, how much less the load arm is that much less effort you have to apply now these are about load arm and effort arm now we'll discuss about input energy and output energy input energy and output energy input energy the force applied to a simple machine to overcome the load is known as input energy and the force applied uh, the force done by the machine is called output energy practically or theoretically uh, no i'll say theoretically a statement which is known as efficiency of a machine input energy is equals to okay let us show you input energy is equal to output energy theoretically but why why we do practically input energy is not equal to output energy due to many forces exist, uh, existing on this earth such as frictional force and gravitational force that is why the input energy we apply will never be equal to output energy this is known as efficiency of a machine now let's see the formula used for efficiency of a machine it is efficiency is equal to output energy by input energy is equal to that's it output energy by input energy and output by work done by work done by the machine means output energy is equal to input energy that's it so now and in percentage if you want to see you have to multiply with 100 this is optional 
and this is called efficiency of a machine. Let's take the op output energy as 220 joule and input energy as 200 joule. That is equal to 11 by 10. Uh, that is equal to 1.2 joule. Therefore, we can say that in this case, the output energy is 220 joule and input energy is 200 joule. By this, we can say that the efficiency of this machine is 1.2 joule. And now, we are going to discuss about mechanical advantage. This will be our last topic today. Yeah, mechanical advantage. Mechanical advantage is defined that it is the ratio of load to be overcome and the effort applied. It is ratio of load overcome by the effort. That is equal to Uh, effort up by load up. This is inversely proportional. So now we can write it as load by effort is equal to effort arm by load up huh? so let's take the load is equal to uh, 12 newton and effort is equal to 6 newton that is equal to effort arm is 2 centimeters and load arm is 1 centimeter. No, no, no. Now, what to take is we have to find the load arm of this load. x. Cross multiply them. 12x is equal to 12. x is equal to 12 by 12. That is equal to 1. Mechanical advantage has no units. We have to remember it. Mechanical advantage, no units. So, the mechanical advantage is this much. Now, by using this principle, we can find the load arm or effort arm or load or effort. I'll discuss with you about the six types of simple machine in the next video. Thank you signing off for today Shashank. If you ha uh, please subscribe our channel and like and if you have any comment, comment in the dog, dog box. Thank you.